Hi guys, I already have to stay at home for a couple of weeks now and it's really getting annoying. I cannot play, I cannot practice and I'm pretty sure most of you are in a similar situation at the moment because of the coronavirus. It's no wonder that there are more and more videos coming out about badminton training at home with shuttle and racket. But most of these exercises I see there don't really impress me because just swinging the racket or hitting the shuttle with no real focus won't make you better in the end if you go back to the hall after um, the situation here. But I think there are some really good ways how you can improve your racket skills, how you can improve the touch for the shuttle for example. And so I had a lot of time to think about it and here are my five ways how you can improve your badminton game and get better um, even if you cannot leave your home, your house, your apartment. When you have a look at top players, what they are doing at the net when they are high, for example like this or like this when they kill the shuttle, they have such an extremely short movement but still they can put a lot of speed into the shuttle. And a former coach of mine always um, compared that a little bit to um, Shaolin monks or these, these um, martial arts fighters that are able to produce so much power only with a very little movement. Maybe you also know the movie Kill Bill where the actor has to hit through a piece of wood just from that distance. So no real room to accelerate. And I think that is a good picture to have in mind if you want to hit these shots. For example, if you want to hit a net kill or if you want to lift at the net with a very short movement that is um, hard to read for your opponent. And I think this can be done extremely well at home because it, of course it's, it's nicer if you can hit an actual shot over the net but you can just work on that really short movement with a very loose grip waiting until the very last moment and then just squeeze the grip make a very short arm movement and try to put maximum power in as little movement as possible. I think there are four shots that um, that makes sense also in the game and this is forehand underhand so if you want to play a forehand lift or if you want to play a forehand kill so here use the panhandle grip and do a really short movement also play the shuttle downwards that's what you what you also want to do and um, when you're um, on court um, but as I said you don't need a net you don't need anything just hit against the wall or if um, a wall is not a good option then you can also put up a carpet where you hit into and then there's not so much noise and also the shuttles um, stay alive a little bit longer and of course you can also do backhand side like backhand underhand but also backhand net kill here with the thumb grip same thing very short movement get all the power into a very short moment and that will also help you in the match to play a lot more deceptive lifts but also be better at killing the shuttle off at the net. It can also be a good idea to put something right behind your racket head and by doing that you also limit your backswing and are forced to do a much shorter movement for the stroke. My recommendation if you want to train that at home just do it like technical training maybe do 5 times 16 shuttles each shot like 5 times 16 forehand underhand forehand net kill backhand same thing so that could be like a little technical session you can do even at home and always focus on the short movement loose grip and only tighten the grip in the very last moment and create power with a short movement second thing to practice is the power in your arm um, i think especially good for and um, for example for double defense and the classic exercises hitting against the wall i think you can see that in every video everybody's doing that at the moment but I would also recommend to have a clear focus here. So in my eyes it makes most sense if you focus on hitting the shuttle as hard as you can also with a quite short movement. So if you get too big you will have no chance to get the next shuttle but really try to produce power and I can only recommend you to do a certain amount of shots then make a break again and then do another round. Um, I would always do 100 shots then make one minute break and then again 100 shots and try to see how far or how many times or how many rounds you can do because that's a little bit like an interval training for your arm that will also help you to improve the power and if you go back on court afterwards you will have a lot more power here in your forearm and also here in your fingers so as I said try 100 shots one minute break and I would recommend to do between five to ten minutes start a little bit slower if you're not that used to stuff like that because it is really intensive after a few rounds but um, yeah you can do it up to maybe 10 times that's also a nice workout for your arm power and for your double defense training. Third thing you can work on at home without anything but a shuttle and a racket is your your grip change and also the feeling for your racket. So there are a few examples and um, what you can do 
For example, you can just do like these circus kind of things. You've probably seen a few of them um, around on the internet, like just throwing the shuttle up, going around it and catching it. Like always um, the focus is a loose grip that will help you to adjust it. You can also go around and catch with backhand side. So this, this time around like this, go around, catch again with forehand side. You can do all kinds of things. Like you can go around two times, three times. Another cool thing is going around the shuttle without um, throwing the shuttle up like just like this and also the other way around and there you have to be really loose always adjust the grip turn it around the around the shuttle good exercise to have a better feeling for the grip and better feeling for adjusting the grip with the fingers last thing you can also do is um, just playing the shuttle up a little bit and always change between forehand backhand forehand backhand and set yourself a goal like you want to have maximum contacts in 30 seconds so that's a little bit of a challenge if you're doing it write it down in the comments i will also try it out um, after this video and tell you what's my what my score is but just very short here you will see it's quite hard to control the shuttle if you're playing it not that high and try to get as many contacts as possible in 30 seconds will help you also to get better here with your grip. I really like to work on deceptions with um, players because it will help you to get a better feeling for your racket movement, for the adjustment with the grip here and also with the speed in the racket. And even though it's a lot better to do that on court, you can still um, practice deception skills at home when you don't have a net, when you don't have a court because deceptions are basically about two things. You can um, have a deception of direction where you show a straight shot and play cross or the other way around. Or you can also have a deception in speed where you um, pretend to play a fast shot and take the tempo out or you pretend to play a soft shot and then um, speed up quickly. So there are a few deceptions or deceptive skills that you can work on at home just by you need someone that throws you a few shuttles and then for example you try to play um, backhand on the forehand side you turn in the very last moment also here good exercise to change the grip quickly be relaxed and loose with the fingers. Another thing you can do is um, work on a tempo deception so also someone's feeding you and then you pull back the racket really quickly and then slow down the movement and slice a little bit under the shuttle. That is a cool deception on court, but you can also practice it at home, this um, change of speed in your movement. So fast back and slow down under the shuttle. Um, good way what you can do at home. Probably you've seen the coffee cup challenge on Instagram or Facebook or wherever, where people are trying to hit a coffee cup just with the shuttle over a certain distance. And that made me think, how can you maybe use these precision stuff also for uh, yeah, practicing at home? And I think there is a really obvious thing to do here to set up a service situation at home. Everything you need for that is around four meters of space and a small rope that you can, um, or anything that you can put in the right height. So the right height of the net is uh, five foot or one point, around 1.52 meters high. And the distance between the tee you put on the floor and the net is 6.5 foot or 1.98 meters. So um, that's the distances you need. You only need yeah, three markers for the tee on both sides and for the net. And then you can start to practice serving. And I think you cannot underestimate the meaning of serving in doubles and mixed doubles. So many points are won in the first few shots. And if you are getting really good at serving, you will get a huge advantage in every doubles and mixed doubles match. So um, I can just recommend you to if you can set that up and you can do that for example every morning 100 services and I will assure you that will help you so much when you get back to the hall and suddenly you have a lot better muscle memory here play a lot and more precise on your surf um, as I said the only thing you need is a little bit more than four meters in length so you can mark the things on the ground and a little rope but I'm pretty sure most of you guys have that at home and if you're serious about doubles and about practicing at home then you could maybe consider um, building that up at home for yourself. Okay 
so much for that. Um, five tips how you can practice or actually train with racket and shuttle at home. I'm pretty sure there are more up options that make sense. But I think here you have five times you have a clear focus where to work on and what to practice. And don't just take a shuttle, take a, take a racket and hit without um, thinking about it. You have to be clear what you want to train, what you want to work on if you really want to get better. And I think here are five examples for exactly doing that. If you have more ideas, I would really be interested to hear about them. So let me know what you're doing. Write them down in the comments, those ideas, or also send me them on Instagram, on Facebook. I would love to see videos from you, how you are doing training at home with a clear focus. And if you like this video and if you find it was helpful for your daily things um, during Corona time or I think you can do that every time you not always have the chance to go to a hall. Then it would be cool if you leave a like here and also subscribe to my channel if you're not already following. And then I hope I see you in the next video. Bye bye and stay safe.